Hey, welcome back. In the previous video, we have seen how to create this water simulation. So now in this video, we are going to see how to apply the materials and also we will render it in Karma. So first of all, uh, here I will take a null node for this particle uh, mesh here because literally we want to apply the material. So just I will take a null node and for this we can give like uh, like water mesh. So now what we'll do is we'll go to the stage context. So just we'll go back and here we will go to this stage context. So here first we need to import the models which we have done. So in order to do that, we need to take a node called like swap import. So by using this, we can browse the models uh, where we want to apply the materials. So we need to take another swap import. So let's say uh, in this, I will browse the like water mesh here in the soft path, uh, we need to browse that. So we need to browse that null. So the water mesh and click on accept. So we got this water and in this, we need to browse the bowl here. So just select this and here in the geometry. So this is a bowl. So just we need to select this and we need to browse it. Here. So now you can see we got this bowl and this water. So we need to see them both uh, at the same time. So I will take a mesh. So just I will connect here. Now we got this bowl and water. So now what the thing is, we need to apply the materials for this thing. So in order to do that, we will go to this material palette. And here you can see, uh, we have to apply the material for the liquid and also for the bowl. So here we can search for like liquid. So here you will get an basic liquid. So this material we need to drag here. And also uh, what the thing is now, if you want to apply this material to this mesh, so just we need to left click and drag. And also we need to select this set as material on swap import. So select this, now it will apply the water material. And also just I will apply any kind of glass material to this uh, bowl here. So just I will remove it. And if you come down here, you can see there is an option like let's say I will apply this rough glass. So just I will select this and drag onto this thing. And we need to apply on swap import too. So now what the thing is, if you go back, so just if you go back here and now see automatically it, it has been created the material library. And now if you want to see the output, just we can go to this like karma. So now we got this uh, liquid and the material, but what the thing is we need to create the light here. So we need to create the dome light. So just I will select this, connect here, enable this. Now what the thing is, just we need to browse the texture which you want to apply. It means like the HDRI images. So now we need to create the light here. So in order to create the light, we need to take a dome light and just I will connect here. So now you can able to see the light on this material. Still, we need to browse the HDRI images. So in the previous videos, I have explained about the HDRI images from where we have to download. So we can download the HDRI images from the Polyheaven. So this is the site where we can download the HDRI images. So uh, I have detailed explained how to download and how to import this thing. So I will put the link in the description. So now in order to uh, browse the texture, we need to select the light. And here you can see there is an option like texture. So in texture, we need to browse the image which we have downloaded. So these are the images which I have downloaded. So for this scene, I will use this HDRI and we have to select that HDRI and that we have to click on this accept here. So now you can see the light has been reflected onto this. So now we got this realistic water look. So if you want to make any changes, you can select this dome light. And here, if you go to the transform option here, you can rotate the directions of the sun. So suppose if I change the direction to like 50 or something, now see it has been changed the direction. So you have to make the changes in the Y axis. So don't make any changes in the X or Z because if you do such thing, so you can see the like sky here means like see suppose if I click on zero and just let's say if I put on to like 90 or something see now you can able to see the sky. So we have to make the rotation only in the y axis so just we can able to change the directions of the lighting here. So uh, you have to change the value according to your requirement. So now this is fine. And now what the thing is, if you want to increase and decrease the intensity, you can select the dome light and in the basic properties, you can increase the light intensity. So for time being, it is one. Okay. And we can change the color. So in case if you want any like a reddish color or something, we can change it reddish color. So like if you want to change it to blue, you can change it to blue, but uh, let it be like a white color. So it will look more natural. 
And also if you want to change the properties of the material. So if you go to this uh, here in the basic liquid, you can have the diffuse intensity. You can increase and decrease the intensity of the light. So there are some options like roughness, like the specular options. So you can check it once and we can use this reflection and refraction. So if you don't want the specularity, you can decrease the specularity. So it means like the sunlight is will not be reflected onto this water here. So according to your requirement, you can increase and decrease this specularity. So let it be like an uh, 0 0.6 or something. So that's fine. And the refraction. The refraction is nothing but the transparency. So if you decrease now, you will not able to see any transparency in the water here. So it depends on the what kind of liquid you are going to simulate. So at present, I'm going to uh, give the value to like one. So I want the more transparency. And if you want, you can increase this, like you can uh, give the value to two or something. So it will become more transparency. And we can uh, come to this diffuse. So if you want to change the color, you can change the color. Means like uh, if you change to like red or something, now it is going to change the color to red. Like suppose if you want to create any black kind of uh, materials, you can uh, do such things. So let it be like an uh, default color. Just I will undo the control Z. And if you want to make any changes in the glass, so you can use, so you can increase and decrease the roughness. So just if you want more smoothness, you can increase, you can decrease the roughness. And if you want more roughness, you can increase the roughness here. So that's it for these settings. You can uh, make all the settings according to your requirement. So just I will go back. So now what the thing is, uh, we need to create the camera. So in order to create the camera, just we can use this uh, camera option. So if you want to create the camera in this view, we have to control left click so that it will create the camera in this angle. So now we'll see automatically it has been connected. And if you want to like change the directions of this camera, we can use this camera option and make sure we need to enable this lock option so that we can able to change the directions of the camera here. So uh, now if you want to make an, an animation, you can give them uh, like keyframe for this translate. So at present, I'm not going to give any animation for this thing. And finally, we need to take an karma node. So just we need to take an karma node. So just we need to connect here. So now if you want to export this thing, uh, you can select this karma render settings. And here, uh, what the thing is just, uh, if you want to change the location of this output, you can go to this output picture. So you can click on this. So you can select the directory where you want to save. And also before, like what the thing is just, I will copy this extension so that it will be easy for us to give the name. So just, I will copy this and now I will give the location. So just, I will give the uh, name. So final render. And just I will accept this. So in this folder, I have to give the name. So let's say just like water sim. And what the thing is here, you can uh, change the format in case if you don't want to export it like an EXR. So you can give the JPEG or PNG extension. So let's say I want to save it as like JPEG, JPEG, and you need to click on this accept here. So uh, here you can select the resolution uh, where you want to like, uh, if you want to in render it in like HD or something, you can change like HD, full HD. So for typing uh, like 280 is fine because I'm using the non-commercial edition. So uh, it will be restricted to only 1280. And here you can use uh, XPU and uh, XPU and CPU. So what is XPU is it will use uh, both things means like it will use a processor and the GPU. So in case if you want to render by using this, you can render this, but uh, for time being, I will render it in like CPU. And here uh, you can see there is a camera. So already we are rendering uh, through the camera one. So let it be like an, a default. So now if you want to render this, we need to select this USD render. And just uh, here, if in case if you want to render from specific range or something, you can select this render specific frame range. Like you can view like one to hundred or something. And later, if you want to continue, you can view from one out one to like 240. It's up to you. So if you want to uh, see, render only the single frame, you can select the option like render current frame. So in this case, I'm going to select this render specific frame range and you can give the value. So let it be like a 240. And that's it for these settings here. Uh, just you need to click on this render to disk here. So in this way, we can use the Karma render settings. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next video.